What if you were an artist and somebody gave you an opportunity to spend two weeks on a beautiful island with a bunch of other artists, creative people from around the world? And what if in the process of creating your art, you could do the world some good at the same time? Most likely you'd say yes. I think all the artists think sometimes about doing something for a better world. But mostly we are not very rich, so we can give away like $8,000. But what we can do, we can give away our time and our talent. You're painting. Yes. <laughs> no Boundaries was inspired by an artist colony the founders experienced in Macedonia during the mid-90s. I send the participants a letter with information that, okay, bring your bathing suit, bring short sleeves, long sleeves, sweaters, hats, gloves, because the weather changes so much out here. The landscape, of course, is beautiful here and, and varied. You got the beach, the maritime forest, the, you know, there's a lot to paint. I think because we're right on the beach and there's just something about the freedom with the sea it's so vast and it's a reminder to let things go. It's a combination of feeling like you're on the edge of the world. And the other component which is really valuable for all of us artists is the idea of unstructured time. You're able to just address your painting. Those two things alone are inspirational. For those of us securely tied to the hands of the clock, it's hard to imagine two weeks of unstructured time in a setting so rich with both images and cultural sharing opportunities. People will go around and see what other people are doing. It's not a workshop. There's nobody here teaching. I'd like to get some of those Latin as well, but there's a danger of it becoming too obvious. But so much of it is about sharing, unintentionally. The creative process is pretty, uh, yeah. pretty yeah. remarkable. It's but it, it's going to come, right? Yeah. <laughs> it'll come. It'll come. I love it here at Bald Head because you have such a big, vast, panoramic view. And I like that feeling of being small in the landscape. The first evenings I was here, it was really still. And there was a beautiful sunset. And what I noticed is that the uh, far end of the beach where the sun was going down, it was brilliant uh, yellows and oranges and as bright as you could imagine. And then as it moved further down toward the point, it was beautiful sages and blues and purples. So I was kind of amazed that one sunset could have such a wide range of color. It is quite astonishing, really. For about 20 years I did watercolour landscapes. Then I got involved in much more intense work, dealing with walls and textures and doorways. And coming back here and seeing all this space and light, just crying out to be painted, so I thoroughly enjoyed my time doing them. Uh, my name is Peter Nina Kutomsi and I'm from Ghana, West Africa. Back home, I live close to the ocean, so it's, it's just the same, the same feeling. But this time, you are with a bunch of artists. That's what makes the difference, and it's, it's good. Some inspiration comes quietly. Other times, it arrives like a force of nature. Sergei is a very active action painter, and he always collaborated with me to try to make photographs together. So I had him running toward the canvas and kicking water up and keep snapping pictures as he came toward the canvas to create this illusion of energy as he approached the canvas and water sprayed all over the place. We all work really hard during the day. Everyone's very focused and everyone comes together at dinner. It's the only time of day that we're all together. Et pour moi, c'était une expérience extraordinaire parce que j'ai jamais vécu dans une ambiance aussi conviviale. It's not about who's the best artist. 
people leave their egos behind too. It just becomes sharing life and just being silly. They come to Bald Head Island every other year for the privilege of working at ease for two weeks for island inspiration, but also for the larger purpose of selling a few of their paintings to benefit young artists who are disadvantaged from around the world through a Dutch nonprofit called Paint a Future. I ask them to think about their future and to think about of what they need. I give them a paintbrush and I tell them that this is a magic wand. The children plant a creative seed by painting a picture of their dreams, which is then passed on to the No Boundaries artists to expand upon. The child from Brazil, I think she's four years old, made this painting here on brown paper. And it makes you really free. You remember how you were painting when you were a kid? I can sell my painting with the children's dream for two or three thousand euros, and if the dream of the child is to have a house, I can build a house for two thousand euros. So it's really possible to realize children's dream through, through art. And finally, as things come to a close, there's one final bit of creative play left. We had this idea for our main picture. For 20 minutes before sunset, I had people moving their flashlights over and over again. What you do is you keep the camera on a tripod and keep it open for 15 seconds. And I fire my flash to, in, to imprint them on the picture. It all comes together in just a moment.